The Mac Mini M1 is amazing, it is so fast. However, I found one area where it's actually slower than Intel Macs. So let's just get right into it. I am loving the Mac Mini M1. It is basically a beast that obliterates the speed of the 2019 MacBook Pro that has the Intel processor. And of course the Mac Mini has the M1 processor from Apple. There's a lot of hype about that. It lives up to the hype in a lot of areas. However, I was just doing some testing using my USB-C external drive. This is the Rave Power portable SSD. This was sent to me by Rave Power. I did a review of this recently, so cheers to Rave Power. This is a one terabyte drive. I highly recommend this, and I will leave a link to this in the description below if you wanna check that out. Anyway, so I have this SSD plugged in to my MacBook Pro from 2019, and it's super fast, transferring files, whatever. It's doing a really good job. And then I moved this Rave Power over to the Mac Mini M1, and it loaded up a little slower, and it just seemed like it was transferring files a little slower so I was like okay this isn't just my imagination right let's do some speed tests by accident I discovered that the MacBook Pro from 2019 was actually reading and writing to this portable SSD way faster than the Mac Mini M1 so I was kind of shocked by how much faster it was too so let's load up Blackmagic speed test here on both machines and by the way i got my second monitor that i'm trying out with the mac mini m1 here this is the samsung q50 r i believe it's a 32 inch smart tv i'm trying it out as a monitor and if you've seen my other videos i'm trying out four different monitors for the mac mini m1 right now and i'll be doing more videos about that coming up so be sure to subscribe so let's load up black magic speed test also on the Mac Mini M1. So first of all, let's do an internal SSD, that, like the built-in SSD on each one of these two machines. Let's do speed tests on those and you can see how freaking fast they both are. So let's do the MacBook Pro 2019 first. And as you can see, we're getting write speeds of 1162 megabytes per second. And then read speeds are almost at 1700 megabytes per second. We got 1676. That's really good, that's super fast. I've said it before, I'll say it again, the 2019 MacBook Pro is a freaking beast too, you know? It's still super fast, however, the Mac Mini M1 is definitely noticeably faster in a lot of ways. So now let's try the speed test on the Mac Mini M1. So 2226 write speed and 2746 read speed. That is absolutely bonkers. This is the fastest read and write speed that I've ever seen on any machine that I've ever owned. This pleases me. This makes me want to do some jumping jacks or something. The write speed is almost double what the MacBook Pro with the Intel processor is, and the read speed is over 1,000 megabytes per second faster. So definitely no problems there. So now let's do speed tests of the Rave Power portable SSD plugged in via USB-C into the MacBook Pro. So I'm gonna select the drive and I'm gonna select Rave Power. So the Rave Power got 436.9 megabytes per second write speed, and it looks like the read speed is about 458. Eight. This drive is supposed to get up to 550 megabytes per second, I believe, and that's really, really good. So let's eject this from my MacBook Pro, and I'm going to plug in this same drive into the Mac Mini M1. Select target drive. I'm showing you all of this, by the way, so you know I'm not just trying to cheat you or something. All right, so let's start up the speed test. So on the Mac Mini M1, I'm only getting 338 megabytes per second write speed, and then the read speed is only 376. That's it. On the MacBook Pro, we got 436 write speed, and then on the Mac Mini M1, we only got 335 megabytes per second. The MacBook Pro from 2019 got 100 megabytes per second faster write speed than the Mac Mini M1. And then for read speed, we got 458 megabytes per second on the MacBook Pro, and we only got 376 megabytes per second on the Mac Mini M1. So we got almost 100 megabytes per second faster on the MacBook Pro. And that's the same drive on both computers. So some of you, including myself, might be asking right now, what the hell is this about? And honestly, I do not know if this is something that maybe the Mac Mini M1 just has 
a glitch or something, but I looked this up and other people are having the same issue on M1 Max, not just the Mac Mini, but also the MacBook Pro M1 and also the MacBook Air M1. And if you're watching this and you've experienced the same issue with very slow read and write speeds from external drives on the new M1 Max, let me know in the comments. And also if you have a hunch on what you think this issue might be about about the Mac Mini M1, I haven't found a fix for this yet. I don't know if there is gonna be one. This could just be faulty hardware, but the M1 Mac is super fast with the internal drive. It's just when you connect the external drive, it's still fast, but it's not as fast as an Intel Mac. I really, really hope Apple is aware of this situation and they send some kind of firmware fix for the Mac Mini M1. This is just the base model Mac Mini M1. This is just the 256 gigabyte edition, which is enough for me to edit my videos and stuff, but I will be backing up stuff to my drives, you know, here and there, and sometimes working off my drives as well. So I'm getting fast speeds, but knowing that I could get faster speeds on my MacBook Pro, it's like, what's the deal, Apple? Come on. So anyway, that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you this issue real quick and kind of start a discussion. Be sure to like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hope you have an awesome day. I hope Apple fixes this issue and I will see you in the next video.